Welcome to the Hollywood Hood Girl 2 movie. Y'all ready? I know y'all already see what I'm going to be eating today. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And look at this. All right, y'all. Hey, thank you for coming back. Oh, let's get ready. Okay. So look here, y'all. Today, the production is Roasted Taters. Potatoes. Yes. The director is Air Fried Chicken. And the camera is mine. This is September, y'all. Wow, so fast. Here it is. A new month. New stuff. Yeah. So this is scene one, take two. Let's roll the day. So come on in, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water, bring your food and snack. Let's sit and chat with this one hood girl to the hood. Thank y'all. Yes, say prayers. We're going to toast and we're going to dig in, y'all, because the food is really good and hot. Well, I don't know if it's good, but it's hot. <laughs> Let's bow our heads, if you will. Thank you, Father God, for this another day. Thank you for mercies. Mercies and mercies new every day. Thank you for divine favor. Thank you for loving us, Lord, and forgiving us from every sin that we have committed against you, Lord, by any word, deed, or thought. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body and have your way, your way only. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Oh, I love, I love the Lord, y'all. I do. So, look. Let's uh, let's toast, y'all. Look what I have. Jack Daniel. Is that Southern Peach? Yeah, Southern Peach, y'all. I'm trying to do a little something. Oh, ow. Dang. Okay, y'all, I'll be back. <laughs> oh, that hurt. I thought I could twist it out, huh? Mm. I guess not, huh? We got the Star Wars, the Star Wars, y'all, the Star Wars, yeah, yeah. So look at y'all. Uh, this is hump day. I don't know if y'all gonna see this, but it's hump day today. So look here. Have a great hump day, hump night. And if we want to hump, do your hump. Like, what was, wasn't that a song, y'all? Do the hump. Do the hump. Do the hump. Yes, do the hump. Here. Cheers. Yes, 4% alcohol in here, y'all. I probably ought to go get one of my 99 cent bottles back there that's Jack and add a little in here and I drink it down. How about that? I think I did that the first time. Over David in them house. All right, let's set this dawn clock, y'all. Know y'all know I just be talking. Let's, let's, I, let's set this dawn clock. And then I got something to tell y'all at the table. All right, y'all, let's find the clock. The clock, clock, clock. Let's do twenty minutes. What the hell? All right, y'all. So how how was y'all day today? Uh, mine was good, but we had some news today, and I'm tell y'all what I did. So look, first, do y'all remember these donuts, the crunch? Y'all remember them? I'm finding some good stuff. All right, y'all. Look here. Without ado, here you go. Take what you want. That's some fried chicken legs and roasted potatoes. Uh, uh, I, I, I see when uh, I was kicking it with Lynn through the roasted potatoes, I was like, I want to do something different. I don't want no french fries and onion wings. So these are my roasted potatoes, y'all. So you want some? Here, take. I got three pieces and more over there. So here, take what you want, baby. Mm-hmm. Take it. Yeah. You're welcome. 
Okay, so y'all, I have, y'all know I love them sweet and spicy uh, uh, jalapeno peppers, y'all. And it's a new bottle. And without a do, yeah, uh, I got to put some on my plate. And let me tell y'all what else I have over here. Y'all, I have a slew of a lot of stuff. Oh, y'all, them peppers smell so good. I have ranch, because I think I want to dip my uh, potatoes in that. Then I have ketchup if I want some on my chicken. And then, of course, I got the hot sauce if I want that on my chicken. I like to mix. Um, I didn't have no honey, y'all. And I haven't been to the store. I like honey and ketchup with my chicken, but I don't have honey, so I got ketchup and hot sauce. But look, look here, I'm not gonna, wait a minute. Yeah, you know, we always forget something, don't we? But that's okay. You know, should I not eat all my potatoes? I don't wanna pour the ranch on that plate, you know, and contaminate it if I have to put them back. So yeah. Just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And we'll put that right here. Okay, so y'all look here. Um why we got some email today. We're on our slack that you know, we we thought that the end of this week, uh, the fourth, is our last day on this project, right? Mm. Oh my God, that's good. And um, our leader said, "Here you go." Our leader said that go ahead and. Uh, put on our vacation planner until 9-11. And I'm thinking like, that's a whole nother week. And I said, so did they extend it to 9-11? He said, no, but we have some surplus. And because some people have fell off that, and then they, they still, it talks about the whole month with New York. Extending. We can't do that, y'all. <laughs> They've had three, four months of my mentality crazy as hell. So I had to tell my counsel to submit the papers, baby. And I'm going to leave that right there. Y'all, these roasted potatoes really are good. And I seasoned them with some uh, salt, black peppercorn, I did some uh, Cajun seasonings, just a tidbit of salt. I don't like all that salt, y'all. And I did onion powder and a garlic powder. Mm -hmm. And then I roasted them on 400, 25 minutes. And then I shook them up, turned them over, and I did another 15 minutes. Perfectly, perfectly cooked. Hey y'all, take a bite of that chicken. And this is too. Mm -hmm. Oh y'all, look at all that juice in there. Y'all see that smoke? This is perfectly cooked chicken. But y'all know we need a jalapeno for this one. So y'all, that's my story. What are y'all stories? I, I told y'all, wait, I know y'all gonna say, when do you say that all the time? So what? But yeah, this chicken is perfectly cooked, juicy, and well seasoned. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, why was I gonna put that in there? I want something. Oh, ha! I don't know what I want. 
I want some honey. I don't know how sauce though. Cause I got these peppers. But I want this um, ketchup though. But I don't want them to get on my potatoes. I'm not getting back up. So we're gonna have to figure this out. Just a little bit at a time. Ooh. Yeah, just a little bit at a time. Y'all, so look here. I don't know what's going to happen. But I don't want to do another month. That would be five months of, of mental abuse. I mean, well, I'm getting better. With it, of course, with my counselor, too. I can't tell y'all what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm doing it. I'm going to tell y'all. Oh, that's hot. I mean, piping hot. I love my air fire. You know, I really do have a good life. I do. I can't complain about nothing. Oh, Okay. Look, oh, I got something else to say. I don't want to forget it, y'all. Uh, I was listening to a show today, right? Mm. That's so diggity dog going good. It's just good. Mm. And that pepper just sweet and spicy so this guy they asked him was he married he said no but i've been dating my girlfriend for 13 years yeah y'all saw my face it's like frozen time i huh? like i'll be damned so the lady said, 13 years? He said, yeah, I'm not going nowhere. She know, no, she know I'm not going nowhere. I bet you I'd have been long gone. 13 years? You dating somebody for 13 years? I get crazy. Y'all heard that crunch? Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is hot. It's hot. I mean, it literally just came out the the uh, the uh, black fire. Y'all, I will not give a man. Thirteen years, years of my dating life. Mm 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 mm. I could do that stupid stuff. You don't get thirteen years. You. <laughs> you better be happy if I give you a year and a half because I don't care what nobody says. You know after a year, sometimes you know way before a damn year if you're going to marry your partner. It's bull crap. And of course he said she has the best booty. Somebody else got another booty better than hers. And what if he, you go to the, the other booty? You, you done wasted 13 years of her life. And yours too, really. I ain't doing it. Today, oh, I ain't gonna stick the chicken in there. Tomorrow, for the rest of my life, hell, 
No. That's what that old man said on Tyler Perry. <laughs> mm -mm. I said gristle, y'all. I am not. Mm, that is chicken good. But you know, yeah, I, yeah, I know dating has changed. Yes. Boy, has it changed. Let me be the first to tell you that. Just got to go with the flow. I am not in a rush. I am not desperate. Because my single life is really a happy life. But y'all already know what I told y'all months ago and even, you know, not long ago. I really don't want to grow old by myself. I do. I don't. What I say? I do want... Oh, excuse me, y'all. I do want to share, you know, whatever time I have left with, with a, a good man, if, if, if that's even a word to say. A decent man, I think it would, it would be, you know. A decent man. I do. But shit, where they at? Where you at, baby? <laughs> where you at? Or may I be politically correct? Where are you, sweetie? Where are you? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all, uh, oh, that's tender. I'm okay. Yes, I get lonely, if you should ask. I, well, I don't know. I don't know if I get lonely. I get lonesome. Sometimes. But even when I get that feeling, I don't stay there. You know, it, you know, you can visit it, but don't 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 bury yourself there. You know, don't lay there. Mm-hmm. So that helps me, you know. It really does. No. I'm in a beautiful place. Beautiful apartments. Yeah. A beautiful place here outside of Houston. And, you know, we, we have the Gulf right here. And it's really pretty. But... This is not new news to y'all. Quite a few of our black men has left us and they going and, you know, they dating and marrying other races. And if that's their love, then it is what it is. I don't see, I don't see other races coming to, uh, um. Uh, I don't see other races coming to our distress, if I can say that, you know, to save us. And then some of us don't want to date any other race other than our black men. And I am one, but I'm going to stop that because I may be missing a beautiful man, you know, but I love that black man. Good Lord, I love that black man. I do. I'm not ashamed of it. I know. I know that. I know they don't like us like they used to. But in this season, going forward. Actually, I'm 
they coming back. Trust that. <laughs> so I'm waiting for you, baby. I'm so glad I chose this meal. I couldn't have it. I couldn't do it any better. I wanted this chicken. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I told y'all the other day. You look at my, uh, you look at my uh, freezer. This chicken, but now you know I went to the meat market. That's a lot, a lot of different meats, of course. But there's something about chicken and seafood for me. Just when I'm tired of it, y'all. I start to miss it. <laughs> Isn't that what, what we do in our life, y'all? Mm -hmm. We do. This chicken is... I mean, when I tell you cook perfectly, I couldn't have did it any better. Even these potatoes, y'all. Perfectly, or perfectly. Mm. All right, y'all. We winding down. Y'all know this hood girl getting full. But let me just say thank you for coming, sit with me at my table, eating with me. Mm -hmm. Loving me as well. I like it, you know. I I like I like doing my videos. I really do like doing these videos, y'all, because you know all of us work, and sometimes you just need to talk to somebody, you know. And when you are doing videos, you know somebody is gonna look at it and somebody gonna listen to it, you know. So you are talking to somebody, you know. I know a lot of times, even in, in the analytics, these long videos, they may stay a good three to five minutes. So I'm going to look at the whole, I look at the whole video. I mean, if I like you, and if I like what you're talking about, I want to stick and stay because I can learn something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Damn. That's good. But look at y'all. Let's be ready. One more toast. Cheers. I am not really a Kool-Aid girl. This is so like Kool-Aid to me. Let's get ready, y'all. And it's time for it to go off as well. Y'all ready to sing yourself out? Let's do it. Give me your best voice. It's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have another chance around on the other side. So look here on this hump day. Hump on through it, baby. Mm-hmm. But whatever you do, hump good. And please, please love unconditionally. Mm -hmm. True love. That's what that is. Yeah. It's deep love. Can you handle it? Goodbye.